All right, guys, here's kind of a quick recap of the kinematics lecture. So we have four different equations. The first one is delta x equals one half a t squared plus vi times t. Next one is vf squared equals vi squared plus 2a times delta x. Then we have delta x equals 1 half times vf plus vi times t. And then our last one is one that we've actually seen before, which is a equals vf minus vi over t. So really quickly, you have delta x, which stands for change in distance. So triangle x is change in distance. A stands for acceleration. T stands for time. And VI stands for initial velocity, while VF stands for final velocity. Okay, so whenever you're looking at a problem, the first thing you have to do is figure out what you're given. So the first problem says, starting from rest, you accelerate at 3 meters per second per second for 10 seconds. What is your final velocity? So the first clue actually isn't even a number. It says starting from rest. That means your initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second because you're not moving. Then it says you accelerate at 3 meters per second per second. All right, well, that's our acceleration, 3 meters per second per second. And then it says for 10 seconds. So our time is 10 seconds. And lastly, it says, what is your final velocity? That's what we want to solve for. So I'm going to write VF, and I'm going to put a question mark. Actually, I'm just going to leave it as VF because that's what we want to solve for. So what you have to do is figure out which of these four equations you want to use. All right? So you need an equation that has VI, A, T, and VF in it. Can we use the first equation right here? No, because it has a delta X. We don't have a delta x, so we can't use that one. Um, what about the second equation? No, because it also has a delta x. So we can't use that because we don't have one. Third equation has a delta x. We can't use it. And then our fourth equation over here, no delta x. It has our vi, our a, our t, and our vf. So that's the equation we're going to use for this problem. a equals vf minus vi over t. So a... Um, you can see right here is 3 meters per second per second, so I replace A with 3. Equal sign drops, then we have VF, which is what we're trying to solve for, minus our initial velocity, which is 0, which you can see over here, divided by our time, which is 10. All right, so essentially we're just trying to get VF by itself. How do we do that? Well, VF minus 0 is just the same thing as VF. So let's ignore this minus 0 part and just get VF by itself. How do we do that? Well, we do the opposite of what's happening to VF. VF is currently being divided by 10. The opposite of being divided by 10 is being multiplied by 10. Whatever you do on the right side equals sign, you must do on the left. So you multiply both sides by 10. These cancel out, and then 10 times 3 gives you a final velocity of 30 meters per second. We showed our work, we have our units, we circled our answer. Moving on to a second problem. Second problem says, starting from rest, you accelerate at 3 meters per second per second for 10 seconds. How far do you travel during the 10 second interval? So starting from rest, once again, that's a huge clue. That gives us our initial velocity. So our initial velocity is 0 meters per second because you're not moving. You accelerate at 3 meters per second per second. So we know A, once again, is 3 meters per second per second. And it says for 10 seconds. So our time is 10 seconds. And now finally, it says how far do you travel during the 10 second interval? So that's what we want to know. We want to figure out our distance. Our distance is represented by delta x. Remember, the triangle stands for change and x stands for distance. So that's your change in distance, aka just your distance. So delta x equals delta x because that's what we want to solve for. All right, so if you look down here, out of all the different variables that we have had, all right, um, we do not have a VF. So let's go through our equations and see which one we can use. So if I go to the top, the first equation that we have is this one right here. Do you guys see a VF in it? 
No, it has everything we can use. We can't use the second one because there's a VF. We can't use the third one because here's a VF. And we can't use the fourth one because, once again, there's a VF. So we are going to use the first equation. All right. So the first equation, I will rewrite it down here. It is delta x, which stands for change in distance, equals 1 half a t squared plus, that's an addition sign, vi times t again. So let's take our numbers, plug them into our equation. First thing that we have is delta x. That's what we're trying to solve for. So we leave it as delta x equals 1 half, which is a part of the equation, times our acceleration, which is 3, times our time squared, which is 10 squared, plus our initial velocity, which is 0, times our time again, which is 10. Delta x is already by itself, so we just kind of got to clear some of these numbers up. All right, so one of the things that I think is actually kind of easy about these problems is the um, when they have a multiplication by 0 in there, you can just kind of cross it off and ignore it. So 0 times 10 is 0. So I'm just going to cross that off, something we don't have to worry about. All right, now we just have to do 1 half times 3 times 10 squared in our calculator. All right, so if you end up doing that correctly you should get 150 as your distance, 150 meters. All right, so please, once again, try putting that in your calculator. If you don't know how to do point or one half in your calculator, use 0. 0.5. Yeah, 150 meters. We showed our work, we circled our answer. We are all good. All right, and then we're going to go through one last problem relatively quick. A stormtrooper's laser starting from rest accelerates at 40,000 meters per second per second down a 0.5 meter long barrel. What is the velocity of the laser as it leaves the barrel of the blaster? So once again, it says it's starting from rest. That gives us our initial velocity of 0 meters per second. All right, um, then it says it accelerates at 40,000 meters per second per second. So that's our acceleration. So now we're dealing with some higher numbers. Acceleration, 40,000 meters per second per second, down a 0 0.5 meter long barrel. So that's our distance, because distance is measured in meters. And then it says, what is the velocity of the laser as it travels the bar uh, as it leaves the barrel of the blaster? So that's what we're trying to solve for, the velocity at the end of the problem, which is our final velocity. All right, VF equals VF. So in this case, we don't have a time. So we got to look at our equations and look for the one equation that doesn't have time in it. So I look up at the top. All right, well, the top one has time in it. Can't use that one. The second one, oh, I don't see a time. That's going to be the equation we use, the second equation. So I'm going to go down write down our second equation, which is VF squared equals VI squared plus 2A times delta X. So the first thing is VF squared. We don't have a number for VF squared, so we leave it as VF squared. Equal sign drops. Now we have VI squared, which is our initial velocity, which is 0, plus 2, which is a part of the equation, times our acceleration, which is 40,000, times our delta x, which is 0 0.5. All right, vf squared, we're not doing anything with it yet, so that drops, equals, now we gotta put a lot of this into our calculator. All right, we got some big numbers here, so make sure you guys follow along, end up getting the same stuff. Zero squared, once again, that's just gonna be giving us zero. We can ignore that. So we essentially gotta do two times 40,000, times 0.5, which if you put all that into your calculator, guess what you get? 40,000. All right, we're almost done. Is VF square or VF by itself? No, it has this square. The only way you can get rid of that square is by using the square root symbol. So whatever you do on the left side, you are going to have to do on the right side. Okay, so now we just got to do the square root of 40,000. And that will give you your answer. So give me one second. All right, if you put that in your calculator, you should get 
200 is your answer. This square root cancels the square, VF is by itself, and we're done. All right, we just gotta use meters per second as our unit. We showed our work, we circle our answer. All right, so essentially, the hardest part of this, I think, is figuring out what equation to use. Just make sure you pick the equation that has every variable accounted for that you saw in your problem. If you guys have questions, go back and uh, rewatch the video. You know, you can fast forward or rewind whenever you need to.